is it still worth selling on Amazon FBA in 2022? Hey everyone, how's it going? I am back with you guys for another video. It has been quite a while since I posted a YouTube video. I've posted a lot of YouTube shorts lately, but it's been quite some time since I've actually posted a YouTube video. So today I'm going to answer the question, is it still worth selling on Amazon FBA in 2022? The answer to that, the simple answer is absolutely yes. It is still worth it to sell on Amazon in 2022. The long answer is still yes, but to go into a bit more detail, there's never been a better opportunity to get started with selling on Amazon FBA for the sole reason that more and more people are shopping online as a result of COVID and as a result of just the convenience of shopping online. A lot of people who had never shopped online before started shopping online during COVID and now they love it because they realize it's so much more convenient than going out to a retail store. So more and more people are shopping online. With more people shopping online, it gives more of an opportunity for sellers like you and I to succeed with selling on Amazon. So with that being said, absolutely there is a huge opportunity especially if you haven't started selling yet to get started selling on amazon fba today and if you guys don't know where to start the first thing that you should do is go through a bunch of youtube videos i have a bunch of videos on my channel showing exactly how to sell on amazon fba if you want a bit more of a deep dive into how to sell on amazon fba then you can check out my course which will be in the link in the bio in my bio below and basically that will show you step by step how to sell on Amazon FBA. After that, you need to find profitable products to resell on Amazon. So the next step is finding those products. There will also be a link in the description that will take you to a site, a program that will show you exactly what products you should buy and resell on Amazon. And the reason that I do the what is called the online arbitrage business model is because I purchase items from online retailers. I don't have to worry about ever advertising because those items, those products are already well known. You don't have to worry about advertising or anything like that because the products are already well known. So let's just say, for example, you go and sell a KitchenAid mixer. Well, everyone already knows KitchenAid, so you don't have to go spend your own money on advertising that to the customer because a customer is going to come to Amazon and look up KitchenAid Mixer and if your price is competitive enough, competitive enough then you will be in the buy box. And when you're in the buy box and the customer press, presses add to cart, then that item is going to be purchased directly from you and you didn't have to spend a cent on advertising. And in fact, I have never even spent one cent on advertising with my products on Amazon because everything that I sell is already well-known products. So there's no need for me to go spend money on advertising. So that's the next step is the finding the profitable products. The, the next step after that is either finding a prep center or doing the work yourself and sending the items into Amazon FBA. FBA is fulfillment by Amazon and you have to send it to an FBA warehouse in order for Amazon to ship the item for you. So when you use the FBA program, it takes away a lot of the hard work for yourself because you don't have to ship items directly to customers. Amazon takes care of all of that. They take care of the customer service. They deal with all the returns. So I highly recommend using the FBA program. So once you found a profitable product to purchase, you're going to purchase it and you're going to either send it to yourself or to a prep center and the prep center will either prepare the item to go to Amazon for you or you will do it yourself if you send it to your house. After that, the next step is to have the product sell. So once the product sells, once Amazon's received it and the item sells, then you will actually get paid as soon as Amazon ships the item. Now, Amazon pays you every two weeks, so you may have to wait two weeks from the date that it actually ships, but you do get paid every two weeks with selling on Amazon. And so that's kind of the gist of it. And then you want to continuously reinvest those profits into additional inventory because if you are going to purchase items to resell on Amazon, sell them, and then 
like just keep your profits aside and you don't reinvest them, then you're never gonna scale your business. You're, it's gonna stay pretty stagnant and it's gonna stay at the same level. So if you want to scale your business, you need to be reinvesting your profits into additional inventory. That is absolutely key in order to succeed on Amazon FBA. So that's kind of the gist of how to sell on Amazon. And the bottom line is, there's a huge opportunity for new sellers to get started in 2022. So if you have not started selling on Amazon yet, make sure you get started today because I highly recommend it and you can make a lot of money doing it. Keep in mind, it's not a get rich quick scheme, so you're not gonna get rich right away, but you will be able to make money, start right from the get go, and then be able to scale over time and eventually get to a point where you're making a significant amount of money. Last year I did about, I think it was about two and a half million dollars in sales. The year before I did three and a half million. So I've been selling a significant amount on Amazon. So if you do want to learn from someone, like I said, the links will be in the bio or the description below in order to get started with either my course or learning which profitable products you should purchase to resell on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you do have any more questions, make sure you comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel.